And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Vintage Story. And uh, yeah, our, our little system out there is going pretty good. We are, I'm in the process of making some more steel. It's a slower process, you know, you're just making ingots, little bits at a time. But, you know, it's better than waiting a week for all those to finish and the just vast amount of charcoal that that actually takes. You know, you put some iron ingots in here, a little bit of charcoal, and it starts breaking blister steel. And once that is done, you can just move the blister steel right back over and it'll process with the crusher module into actual steel. Now, you that process, you know, one of the things that you lose when you do it like in an automated way is you lose the bits that you get back from the anvil recovery mod so you know that's that's what you don't get back is the little metal bits see these little metal bits here uh blister steel bits steel bits you don't get any of those back unfortunately but you know it's it's a small price to pay for automation all right i made up uh, a couple more drilled plates I think the drilled plates go on the bottom, and then we have some screws. Yep, there's some plates, because I would like to make a thing. Ooh, I've got one more shoot section done. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't know I had that few. Do we, do we have? Oh, we have some more. Okay, good. Woo! Okay, uh, we want one machine block and then what we're gonna do is make the soft metal punch turns plates into drilled plates and that I think is gonna be a good time so we're gonna need uh, to open this okay so we need one of these which is a brass rod with a couple wire two of those that's why i made four screws and a screwdriver and then we have that that and then four screws okay Oh, those are steel screws. Let's not use those. Good lord. Did I use steel screws on it? Oh, I hope I didn't. Um, and then I should have some iron plates around here somewhere. I've got some circuit boards. First time I've ever made those. Um, okay, so I am going to need um, a couple iron plates. Like so. I'm holding alt, by the way. And that's how I get that. That's how I'm able to move around. With having all these windows open. And then one, two, three, four. And those are iron rods. Okay, iron rods. And there's the soft metal punch. And what that does, um, those those machine these uh, these machine plates here that I made, the drilled metal plates, um, I made those manually before the episode. So it is what it is. Uh, what does this thing do? Turns plates into drilled plates. Okay, so we're gonna grab a few plates here, maybe two stacks. We're gonna head off over here. We should have a little bit of power to spare um, this is busily making these so if you look at the power here um, using 96 generating 128 so how are we doing on power Oof, we are kind of low on power cables so for now we're just going to hook this thing up and I'm not sure if we actually need to heat the plates first. Well, we'll, we'll see here. Um, so if I put these in here. Now 
Needs material. Turns plates and into drilled plates. Yeah, requires one metal plate at 800 degrees. So, obviously we can't use that. We have to use one of these with a heater. Now, I had a heater floating around here somewhere. We have this, that's the MV heater. I, I don't think we need an MV heater. Do I have the the lower level one on me? What did I do with that one? I usually put, you know, all the little bits and bobs out here somewhere. Hmm. I must have put that away, not thinking I would need it anymore. There it is. LV heater. I knew I had I knew I had it around here somewhere. So that we can put right there. And then we can plop in these two. And now their temperature is going up. Slowly. And I wish they they would up you know would update in the window, but there's something about how the dialogues are are uh, drawn they don't they don't get the same game update ticks that everything else gets so there we go we can hear it and now we're getting some drilled plates out of that much much faster than if we did it by hand and uh yeah there's no animation with that a lot of these machines don't have animations it's unfortunate but but it is what it is So, there's, there's obviously ways to daisy chain all of these machines together. So you could have, you know, the crucible pouring ingots, the ingots being made into plates, the plates being drilled, right? And then the output would be all of your drilled plates. So there's all of that. Make sure my magnet is off. And then we have a little bit of water over here that isn't isn't covered up because I think it's running water I don't think it's a full block so that's why everything kind of flows into the center here all the all the creatures all right so now that we have more drilled plates we would be able to make other things uh, let's get here and let's get plates, screws, and where's my screwdriver? There it is. And all of these. There we go. So now, now that we have all of those, we can make more things and stuff. So I want to grab one more shoot section for one more of these because there's something that we can make with this pipe bender creates copper shoot sections takes one heated copper plate from the left and output three copper shoots on the right three copper shoots so one plate which is two ingots gives you three shoots um, and the the mold that I have here is a copper sheet or a copper mold and that is a one-to-one -one. one ingot equals one shoot so two ingots give you two shoots and this machine gives you three instead of just two so you actually get more shoot sections 
for uh, your troubles. Um, so this pipe bender, and if you do a lot of stuff with shoots, is that two iron plates, two sets of iron plates? Yes. So I want one, two, three, four, four iron plates. All right. So then this, you think I would know how to make that by now, but you know, it is what it is. That and that. Get that open up here. So uh, two of these. Two of these. There's your screwdriver and your brass screws. And then we want two of those. 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 Screws. That and then that pipe bender creates copper shoot second. Takes one heated copper plate. Again, you want to heat the copper plates. Um, so we can basically keep that setup that we have out there. Let's take a stack of copper plates. Like that, I kind of put this off to the side. That's ready to go, and then just toss in your copper plates. And uh, eight times three, that should give me what? About 24 shoot sections, not bad. And that, that'll help, you know, everything else. So yeah, the, you know, somebody, somebody asked to uh have like a whole whole chain of crafting i'm i'm sort of waiting for this to get done there's there's not much left to it here um 20 ingots 21 ingots left so you can see these babies are coming out now which is really nice um should i put like a dousing area over here somewhere it's just some place that i can dump hot stuff Um, let me grow, go grab a bucket. Where, where's, where are my buckets? Where are my buckets? There's a bucket. And you notice these trees say dormant, vernalized. That's what you want out of these types of trees. Pear trees, apple trees. Um, the tropical trees don't do this, but... You need to, when you plant these, you need to have these dormant vernalized before spring comes. Otherwise, they don't work very well. All right, so I'm going to dump this in here. And we're going to go, there's my 24. And I have my angel ring off for this. Obviously, if you're doing any... Um, any amount of smithing, you don't want your angel ring on. There's 24 lovely things there. So if we were to daisy chain a lot of these together, I think I'm going to need way more cable. Like, way more cable. Um, let's see. I want... I think it's braided cable. Make copper cable. Yeah, and it's the crucible. That's the only thing. Um, and there's a way to do this with the mixer, but I haven't quite I haven't quite figured that out. So wire making, we could make the wire mill. At last, efficient using wire. I don't know why he uses copper sheets. But there's a cable extruder. Feed in liquid rubber and braided wires. Um, so, yeah, this feed in liquid rubber and braided wires. I don't know how to use the mixer. 
to make rubber. Uh, not a hundred percent sure on how to do that. Um, a lot of the a lot of the content in, in this mod is really sort of basic. Not not a hundred percent. Uh, let's see. So if we wanted to create like create a uh, we're gonna do this um, and then that's a metal punch that's not what we need um, metal punch so that's something something we don't need right now at the very least um, if we want to do like a whole crafting chain one thing we would do so if we wanted say a shoot section for crafting we would need the metal plates right so we have metal plates then we have the pipe bender the ingots have to be heated takes heated ingots right needs to be heated to a thousand degrees um, I'm not sure if the LV can do that. The LV, well, maybe. This is one of the first machines you build. Um, do that and that. Because the heat, they're heated when they get out of here. So they're already heated for the pipe bender. All right. So what I want, cable-wise, here, I want, uh, where is the cable, cable junction, okay, that's, that's an easy recipe, uh, if I can find, there's my screwdriver, so, we have one, two, one, two, so I want to do, see if this thing can kind of go, like, up here, right, and then take my cables, like that, like that, that, and that. There it is. So now, uh, now we're using 120, generating 128. Um, it's not really, they're not really using the 120 right now, but the way that he has the power system, um, it, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really matter because the machines don't have an internal Internal amount of storage that you kind of used to um, so we're gonna grab maybe not 256. Let's do 64 um, That is 32 plates All right, and then we're gonna do right in there and that will just make shoot sections for us out of the ingots instead of instead of needing to put the plates in there we just use the ingots and bing bing boom you've got you got shoots coming out the other side so that's one one setup there is this done this is done so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these blister steels out i don't need this charcoal and i'm gonna put these in here and you can see the crusher kicks on now and now they're spitting out steel ingots. So you could process all of these manually and get out little bits of blister steel, you know, like the blister steel bits. And yeah, you could you could get all those out and re-smelt them down and blah blah blah, but you know, it's pretty much unlimited at this point and I don't really need I don't really need to split hairs when it comes to that. Okay, so you can see this thing is producing once they're up once they're up to you know heat um, it's good to go so that's one that's one setup ready to go so that's shoot sections I would like hmm how do we want Hmm. 
I would like a line for my kiln. So we have a clay former and an electric kiln. Maybe I want, in case I have anything manual to go in there. Oh man, I had four wooden buckets on me. I didn't even realize. Oops, I didn't even realize I had so many buckets on me. Um, I'm gonna need some more chests. So these don't need to be heated, but uh, right now, oh, let's see. Uh, this, I don't know what this is set at. Maybe, uh, maybe it's lost its setting. But if we connect these up, right now, now we're using 140. And if we look at this, this might have stopped. Nope. Okay, so it does detect whether or not it's good to go. So there's a whole bunch of shoot sections that uh, took almost no effort whatsoever. This metal plate maker, though, that is a really high demand item. Like that, we need a lot of those um, if we're gonna if we're gonna automate a lot of lines. So what this line does is it automates. It automates clay. Um, yeah, it automates clay, and I would like to get some fire clay and quickly punch out a rock rock. And it actually doesn't take that long to uh, punch one of these out because the uh, lovely duplicate layer I think there we go easy as that you don't fire it but you shift right click it boink, with that right you heard that sound effect. That was looking for. Now it's looking for. Uh, now it's looking for clay. So we're gonna take maybe 200 clay and put it in here. And as soon as yeah, there it gets. And now this thing picked that up, and you can see it's heat building up. You know, it's even got a little particle effects, which is nice. And now it's going to spit it out as soon as the temperature gets up to a point. It spits it out over here, and it's done. Now we're going to need a bigger. We're going to need bigger storage for that. We are absolutely, positively going to need bigger storage. So let's see if I can catch this. Bingo, there we go. Because they don't stack. That was that was the rough part. They don't stack. So you don't want that to you don't want that to uh, spill over. Um, and then yeah, we don't need I don't think we need that much. So it looks like it uses three. So we're gonna round that off. I think it uses a little bit more clay. Yeah, it uses a little bit more clay than what we would normally use if we did it by hand but that's fine because it's automated um, and I believe this thing can actually make anything that uses clay um, you can shift right click it now I don't know what it does if you like want if you right click it with something like a glazed brick that might that might really upset the balance right there so you may not want to do that Let's add a little bit more charcoal into here, and uh, yeah, we're getting we're getting our steel out. So I might want another one of these hardened plate metal presses. 
just for for other use so you might have more than one of these and as you can see um, all of our machines so these two machines are running even though uh, you know our power if these two machines were also going I think we would have I think we would have you know too much so I'm gonna turn yeah I'm gonna turn that off because those use quite a lot of flux um, but yeah, look at all those crocs now. Woo wee! So yeah, I've got a little selection here of uh, of raw material that I can just change that recipe anytime I want. Um, yeah, this is this might get a little too full. I'm, I'm a little worried about that. All right, uh, so we got plenty of these, plenty of these. Um, let's make a couple more of those, because there are. Let's see, primitive. Oh, selfish power sink. That's not what I wanted. Uh. Selfish power. Well, I've never even heard of that. Machines. Animation test. That's what that is. So, yeah. Very much an in-progress. Oh, hull. That's what it was called. It was a hull. So, the macerator is another machine that we might want might want to look at. And this guy grinds just like the Kern. Um... And it also can make gravel, stone to gravel, which is nice because um, gravel is used in, like, the building gadget. It's used in the uh, construction paste. Um, so, yeah, it basically is similar to uh, your kern. And you can also feed it nuggets, and it will yield a little bit of extra you know, extra metal bits if you feed it like copper chunks. Um, and this drops from the top. That is also wrong. Outputs to the right. It's just like all the other machines. It, it drops from the left. Outputs to the right. Um, and this guy might be handy. And I need to create some more braided wire. I might want to look at automating the wire. Maybe I should look at that next. Because uh, I think we're going to be going through a lot of wire. Like a lot of wire. So that might be a good one to look at next. Some, some of those machines I haven't ever looked at. So, yeah, well, I think we'll take a break here. I think this is done, 106. No, we had 108, didn't we? Oh, no, maybe we didn't. All right, audio warning. Audio warning, this is gonna be loud. Now there's some hot ingots. Hot, hot in the ingots. All right. Glorious amount of steel. Look at that steel. You know how long it would have taken me to make all that steel if I was going to do that with the, the old way. Look at that. 126 steel ingots. Now we need to make some plates, um, which I need another plate machine. So I might I might bust out a new plate machine, um, but I, I am going to need another one of these heavy molds for plates. And uh, that is made with iron, I believe. And I need a couple iron. Maybe I'll make two of them. Just for funsies. Just, you know, while this thing is hot. Might as well grab a couple more. And uh, do right here. So I'll, I'll do this off camera in between episodes and I'll craft um, a couple more machines. And you've seen me craft these machines now um, 
a few times. Macerator. There we go. Yeah, this one is a pretty hefty amount of material. Three of those plus a whole. Yeah, this, this is going to be a lot. Um, and then we'll come back and, uh, yeah, hopefully get get to see, you know, how wires are made um, in the system. If if it's a if it's a good good ratio. Anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.